upgrades on the above ground pond. Look at that beautiful red circle. Look! Algaci by Aquascape. Shout out to CJ. Guess what's in the net? You can actually see it right there. Look at him swimming around. He's looking really good. <laughs> Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On this channel, we talk about everything aquatics, whether it be saltwater or freshwater, goldfish and koi ponds, local fish door tours, DIY projects, product reviews, and fish rescues. Now, I gotta give my ohana a big shout out and thank you for the help on my Showa Koi that was kind of struggling. Um, I kind of got some good news to share with you guys in this video, but I just genuinely want to say thank you guys for all your help. You guys gave me some really good ideas um, for meds and, and like just different techniques on what you would do in this situation. And like I said, I'm fairly new to the Koi hobby and when it comes to disease and the way they act, I'm not too familiar with them, you know? So I just want to give a huge shout out to you guys. Also, I got to give a huge shout out to Island Silver crowns I know this crowns probably distracting you just because of the way it is for those of you guys that are new to the channel okay go check them out go hit them up okay I'll put all of their links down in the description below go check them out on Instagram too as well give my boy brother Kanoa a DM it's a family-owned business this is my signature hat check it out guys I don't know if you guys can see the logo right there with the koi fish scales on it and then the emblem on top Hawaiian fish keeper if you guys are ever wondering what type of hats I'm wearing they are island silver crown and like I said, go cop yourself the official Hawaiian Fish Keeper crown. Now I'm pretty excited for this video because we're gonna do an upgrade on the above ground pond. So I always love those types of videos when I do a little upgrade. And it's something that you guys can do at home if you guys have an above ground pond or a smaller pond, this is so ideal for you guys. So stay tuned. But before I show you the upgrades on the above ground pond, let me show you some of the fish and what's going on. Check it out. All right, so I just got done throwing some pellets in the above ground pond for the fish to uh, feast on. As you can see, my beautiful Sanki Koi fits all the way from New Jersey by way of Japan. Such a beautiful Koi. Just wanted to give you guys a little uh, sneak peek on these guys. But you know who the smartest fish in the above ground pond is? It's this guy right here. Yep, that is my blind Shubunkin goldfish. Look at the colors, the red and the black. Completely blind, guys. No eyes. Yeah, zero eyes. But he yet, he, he can eat with the best of them. You know why? Because he comes over here to the overflow nozzle where all the food kind of gathers. And he'll sit here and feast. I was wondering how he was doing it. That is his technique. And then right here, you see all the different variety of goldfish I have. I have Sarasa goldfish. That little guy right there, that is a baby koi. I think I'm gonna do a video on all the baby fish that I have in the above ground pond so we can take a really good close look at them. I'll put them in a viewing bowl for us, but yeah, he's very elusive. Really, you can see how small he is. Um, but right here, some of the Sarasa goldfish, you got Chunky there, my hybrid goldfish, that orange one to the left. Uh, surrounding the Goshiki, my Goshiki Koi, Gogo. That orange on him is absolutely beautiful. You can see my black Oranda swimming by him, but one of my favorite koi, the Goshiki, the pattern, the orange with the gray body, that orange just pops against the body. Oh, such a beautiful fish. Look at him. Mm. He's also kind of skittish too, so to get this shot off him, I just had to. And then look at this beautiful, well, one of my favorite koi of all time is the Tancho Kohaku. That circle on his head is almost perfectly symmetrical. Look at him, just beautiful. I can't wait till he gets bigger. And I got a little treat for you guys. Guess what I got in the net here, guys? <sighs> yep, I managed to catch the high fin banded sharks in this net here, because a lot of you guys were asking how they're doing. They're so hard to find in this pond, it's so dark. So we're gonna go ahead, put them inside this viewing bowl for you. It's a special treat, guys, special treat. There they are, John and Paunch. That's what I called them. You remember that show? Yeah, Chips, John and Poncharello. Yep, that's them. These two guys are doing awesome. Because that stunt you pulled back at the four level, you almost closed the book. Stunt. It was beautiful. Come on, admit it. 
Come on, admit it. Gosh, that's such a corny show back in the day. I don't know if you guys remember Chips, but go ahead and leave a comment down below if you guys remember that show, Chips. <laughs> Anyways, yep, that's this is John and Ponch. That's what I'm calling them. Yeah, these guys are doing great, guys. Perfectly healthy. Um, put on maybe a little size. I really don't see a big, big difference. Um, but they are putting on size, that's for sure. You can see the colorations are a little bit different. One of them has more of a striped pattern. The other one's a little bit darker. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys a sneak peek. We're gonna put them right back in the above ground pond and release them to the hounds. <laughs> I got some sunlight on them there. Just thought I'd show you guys and give you guys a quick update on the um, high fit bandit sharks. They're doing great. It was so cool that I managed to net them. They were right next to each other. Got totally lucky. Come on guys, go home. Look at them, go home. You guys don't wanna leave? Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, 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 I gotta give them a little tilt. There you go, gotta give them a little push. And off they go. You can see how they blend into the background with all that algae. Ugh, speaking of algae, guys, I'm telling you, this algae is mm, getting a little out of control, but your boy's gonna take care of it, that's for sure. Look at them, just hanging out. They'll literally bury themselves in this, yeah. Yep, algae. Look at it all. I mean, the fish love it. Don't get me wrong. They love swimming and hiding in it. And it's actually a great spawning ground for fish, you know. Um, but we're going <clears> to <throat> take actions here on this above ground pond. And the way we're going to do it, Ohana, this is how we're going to do it. Ohana, so I just did a huge water change on the above ground pond. We're going to do a couple upgrades to help reassure that this algae that's growing inside the above ground pond is gonna be eliminated completely. So let me go ahead and take some actions in one, two, three, here it goes. Boom, oh Hana, there it is. We actually put up a sunshade, not the one that I usually have. We actually got a portable one here. That way it just stays right over the above ground pond to shield it from the sunlight because as you can see up in the sky, yep, the sun is out but the guns aren't out. Got it for 70 bucks at Big Five, which is my local, I guess you can say, sport sporting goods, yeah? I don't know if you guys have Big Fives where you live, but I got some uh, cinder blocks here at the base of all four areas there. That way this thing doesn't blow away. It's kind of windy today, but uh, I love the upgrade. Not only that though, we actually put the air raiders in. As you can see, one of them's over there, providing lots of bubbles. And there's another one right over there. Now here is the two outlet aeration kit, Pond Aerator by Aquascape. You can see it right there, boom. Came with two disc and uh, the pump, which I have it behind underneath. Um, I'll show you exactly where I have it. Let me show you. It's right behind the actual bog filter down on the, on the bottom, uh, away from it getting wet. Plus I have it raised off the ground with a cinder block, a brick, or a topper, you can say. And the reason why we have the aerators in there is because we added Algicide by Aquascape. This stuff, I swear by, if you wanna eliminate all of your algae in your pond, this stuff right here is awesome. I'm gonna set it right here. Not only is it awesome, what it does, it also sucks out the oxygen of the water. So it's super important that you install some aeration for your koi fish. And even if you weren't using Algicide, Extra aeration is awesome for all fish, including koi. You can see the aerators going on right there. And of course we have the waterfall, which is creating a lot of surface agitation as well. Um, there's kind of like a film. You can kind of see this film. That's from the algae side. All the fish are doing great. The reason why you can tell they're doing great is they're not up at the surface gasping for air. That is a clear sign that something's wrong or a lack of oxygen. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys really fast what it looks like from behind. Uh, really simple to hook it up. All right, as you can see, we're walking around and then underneath here, there it is. You can actually see it right there. The air pump, I have it on this topper cinder block brick just to keep it up off the ground. It's tucked up underneath uh, the bog filter, as you can see, so it's away from the rain and whatnot. And of course, off the ground. Um, just in case it gets wet down at the bottom there. It came with so much airline hose. This is all extra airline hose. You can see it running over there. 
So I pretty much have it right in the middle and then I run the airline hose off the, to the side, which I'll show you, it just runs. Help. Shout out to CJ, got my CJ 6.0. So you can see the aeration line, airline hose goes through and it tucks down and then it runs down there to the bottom. Another cool thing about the aeration disc is they're weighted. So you don't have to worry about them uh, floating. They just went quickly straight down to the bottom. You know, I kind of centered them a little bit, you know, right in the middle or right in the center on the side and the center on that side too as well. And also the actual airline hose is weatherproof. So for you guys that are in sub degree uh, weather, it's not gonna freeze. The lines aren't gonna freeze. So that's another plus. I don't have to worry about that. But what I am worried about is my boy over there who's looking really good. Uh, I don't know if you can see him because there's a lot of water agitation and some shadows. There he is right there. Look at him swimming around. He's looking really good. Been giving him those salt baths um, pretty much every single day. So it's nice to see him just swimming around and not laying on his side. So um, yeah, we're really gonna, you know, look out for him. But for the time being, he's doing great. He's swimming around, which is a great sign. He's not laying on his side at the bottom like I showed you guys. So uh, I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on him, old Hana. But uh, yeah, check it out. Really easy to put together. It wasn't that expensive. I think I got it on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon, I forgot what I paid for. There's a, a two outlet and a four outlet. So they have one that's bigger that has four outlets. So if you wanted to put four disc, you can. Um, but yeah, algae side right here, guys. You wanna get rid of that uh, algae in your pond? Good stuff, and it's uh, plant safe too as well. So if you got pond plants, you don't have to worry about them dying off. But what you will see is this film, this white, like the white bubbles, which is all good. So we're gonna apply this algae side for the next like seven, eight days straight. And we'll do a little update video on what it looks like. But I actually just wanted to show you guys the upgrade. If you guys have an above ground pond and there is no shade, this is an alternative, all right? Or if you have a below ground pond and you need some shade, get yourself one of these. Anyways, it cost me, like I said, 69, 70 bucks at my uh, local sporting goods store. Some cinder blocks or it comes with stakes. You can stake them into the ground, but since I got it on the concrete slab, no need for that, but I'm digging it out, Ohana. Let me know what you guys think. Well, my Ohana, I hope you guys loved all the upgrades on the above ground pond. It's something that you guys can do at home. I wouldn't call it a DIY, but maybe just like some really good ideas. Now, remember what the algae looks like inside this pond, the algae side by Aquascape, you will see that slowly disappear. Guarantee you in my next video when I show the above ground pond, all of that algae will be gonzo, okay? So just keep it in mind, all right? I wanna thank you at home, the Ohana, for all your suggestions and ideas on my beautiful Showa Troy. I hope he makes a comeback. So far, so good. He's looking great. So, like I said, fingers crossed. Other than that, though, guys, stay tuned for the next video. We got some bangers coming up this next week, all right? I will see you on the next video. Much love and aloha.